video we were able to, uh, we showed you how to expose the impeller. Today we're going to show you how to remove the impeller. So we got pulled it out. Uh, we actually laid it down right here so that we don't want to be working on it with it hanging in the air because you're not going to get good, get a good angle to get your bolt out. You probably wind up stripping it. So we laid it down. We save out. Uh, eight millimeter socket uh, ratchet drive. We come in here, came out nice and easy. Uh, we come back and uh, pull out a bolt, put it down so we don't lose it. Next, we have to come back and we're going to use our small pry lug just to pry it off. It come off really easy, which it is. There we go. What we're doing today is pulling off the impeller so that we can put a, another impeller on. Here's the cutter blades, the teeth. Here's the cutter blades. Here's the other impeller, which we already removed the cutter blades. Because we've been getting rags cut up on the cutter blades, we decided to uh, remove them on this impeller. So we're going to install this impeller the same way. Uh, we've got a keyway right here, make sure that stays in place. Uh, got to line it up with the, the keyway groove. Pretty basic. Get it in there, close. Goes in, but pretty, pretty easy, it should, but if not, we've got a two by four that we'll line up right here. So we can hit it. inside with an impeller. You want it to be flush with it so we put the oh, here we go. so we put the lock on. It sits right up in there, that little groove on there. So it would be coming out just a hair. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna go with a little bit of lock tie on there. Which we put on there just for purposes of it not coming off on us. We're not going to put too much. Got basic red Loctite. Here. Take it off. Just going to put a drop on here. Real, not very much, enough to, for it to do its job, but we don't want it to to never come off. So what we're gonna do is put it in there, straight in. I use the extension for the same eight inch on the drive. Put it in. I go as far as, far as I could by hand before I put the uh, impact wrench on it. Got a little bit of Loctite on my fingers too. And now I'm gonna put the impact wrench on it. It's gonna be a little loud, but lined up straight in. You don't want to be at an angle up or down because you're going to wind up stripping the bolt. There you go. That's it. And uh, there we are. We've got the new, new impeller, the new old impeller on. The teeth cut off. Now what we're going to do is raise it back in and, and drop it in like we showed on the other video. That's it for uh, Changing the color on a home of pump.